guys, welcome back. My name is Della, also known as Natural Garden Girl. And today I'm here to show you this four bedroom property at Adenta Aviation. I'm gonna take you around right now. Let's have a look. As you can see, as soon as you open the front door, you're met by this really large kind of living space area, which I really, really like because it's so big. It just feels so welcoming. And one of the things that I love about this area as well is the fact that we have this really nice featured wall. So as soon as you open the door, your eyes immediately are drawn straight to this wall. And I just have to tell you guys that just touching this, this is not wallpaper. You'd think it was wallpaper, but this is actually done by an artisan. And it looks absolutely amazing. There's so many details into this that it just looks really, really nice and just brings a lot of character to the room. As well, as we go over here to the TV unit as well, this is very, very nicely done here too. So you can see that it's, the way that it's kind of been put together, it's kind of very got a modern, sleek kind of look. So again, it adds to the whole character of the room as well. Now this is the kitchen area. As you can see, it's quite a decent sized kitchen. Not too big, not too small, just a great size, a work, really nice workable space. Now you may notice that, that the kitchen cabinets are red. Now I know this is not to everyone's taste because it's quite a strong color and not everybody likes that and that's absolutely fine, okay? Because you can actually choose to customize this kitchen yourself, okay? So if you don't want to go for red, you might perhaps like white or black or a different kind of color, you can absolutely factor that in, okay? So tell me, what color do you guys like your kitchen to be? I mean, I like black, you know, black's kind of classic and sleek. And just by the kitchen here, we have a back door. Now this back door actually leads out here, but right here we actually have a boys' quarters. So if you have some house help that lives in, they actually have access to their own room, which is here. And I have to say that this is actually a really decent sized space because I've been to a lot of um, boys' quarters and they're very, very small, but this one is actually a really nice, comfortable space. So even in fact, if you don't even want to use it for house help, you can actually use it as an outdoor guest room as well. So you can kind of play this space. I mean, me, I like an office, so perhaps I'd make it into an office or something like that. But you can absolutely use this space for something. So we just enter back into the house and now I'm going to take you to the first bedroom, okay? So the first bedroom is downstairs. You can see a really nice, decent sized room, big space, you've got enough space to put a good double sized bed in here. And what I love is we have the AC units in here too. The AC units come as part of the house, so you don't need to fork out any extra money for, you, for, for that at all. That's here. And again, we have this really nice texture going on with the walls, which I really, really like. In fact, each of the rooms has a slightly different feel, which makes it really nice. It kind of makes each room unique in its own way, you know? And obviously this room has its ensuite as well. So right over here, we have your shower with obviously your toilet, your vanity unit too. That's there as well for you. And you have a wardrobe here and you can use this for your TV stand as well. So you're pretty much set up. All you need to do is bring a bed and you're good to move in here. Now just opposite this bedroom, we have a guest WC2. So if you have guests, they have access to this very, very easily, okay? So now without any ado, let's just head straight upstairs. Guys, I really, really like this, this feature. This panelling just brings something extra to the house rather than just having a flat, plain wall. The developers actually thought about how they can kind of bring a little bit more character into the space and I really love this and I love the colours that it's been done with and we have a nice light here too. So it just kind of makes a nice feature so it's not boring as you're going up the stairs. You actually have something that kind of brings you into the space which is really, really nice. As we reach the top of the stairs, you can see that we actually have a second living area, okay? So again, a really nice big space. You can actually use this space for children if you want to, or you can use this as a living room where it kind of gets a little bit messy, because let's be real, right? When you walk into your house, not every single time everything is in order, okay? So just being here, you can kind of make this a bit messy and it's out of the way, and you can keep the downstairs one, you know, that kind of, 
posh, nicely, always well done living space there. So you can do all the mess up here if you want to. And again, we have a really nice feature wall here. Again, this is not wallpaper. This has been really beautifully painted. I really love how a little bit more character has been injected into the house. Okay, and just over here, we have a really massive sliding door as well. So we can open this out and you can sit out there on the balcony, place some chairs out there, which is really nice. And what I like as well is the fact that if you just take a look here, they haven't forgotten about the outside space because usually outside space gets forgotten about quite a lot. But they've actually made a really nice feature wall of this too. So again, it feels like you're bringing some of the outside into the house, which is nice. So let's check out the other bedrooms up here. Right over here, we have another bedroom. Again, similar design to the one downstairs, similar kinds of space. So we have our wardrobe space here. You have space to kind of put a bed. Again, we have another feature wall. You can see this one's designed a little bit differently. So this one's kind of like got stripes sort of going across there. So it's a little bit different. And we have, it has this ensuite bathroom too. Um, so you're gonna be very, very comfortable in here, which is nice. Very similar to the one downstairs. In fact, it's exactly the same design, mirrored all over. Okay, so that's nice. And just opposite this bedroom, there is another bedroom. So if I just walk back like this, hopefully I won't bump into anything. If I walk back here, here we go. Another bedroom. So this is bedroom number three, okay? Again, similar size space, again. Um, wardrobe, you know, space for a TV. Ensuite bathroom. I'm not going to go into that too much because they're all pretty much standard sort of the same Okay, so I'm just going to take you right now to the primary bedroom, which is just over here So as you can see obviously any room any house that you enter the primary bedroom is always going to be the biggest bedroom And that's definitely proved correct here. Okay, you can see this is a much bigger space than the other bedrooms that we've already seen Again, we have our lovely feature wall here too, which is beautifully thought out It's kind of got a gold feel to it very very nicely and tastefully done We have lots of light coming in here too So we have our two small windows here and we have a larger window over there too Which is going to throw lots of light in here so you don't feel kind of dark and boxed in so that makes it really really nice all right guys so it's beautiful beautiful room we can absolutely fit a queen size bed in here very comfortably and still have space to move around which is good again we have our AC unit here too in fact all the rooms have AC unit the house comes with them so that makes it really really nice okay. and obviously primary bedroom has to have primary bathroom so again we have our shower um, and our vanity units and everything in there that you need. Now, I'm sure most of you are wondering, so what is the price of this house? Because I haven't mentioned it yet. I've saved the price until the very end. So this house is going for $280,000 and it is quite a large size house. I mean, if you're a family with children, you're gonna be very, very comfortable here in terms of space. We have ample space here. Now, the $280,000 can be paid in a few different ways. So you can do outright payment, you can pay over 18 months, so you can choose how you wish to break that down. You can break it down to monthly, quarterly, it's up to you. Or you can go for the third option, which is to go with the mortgage. Now, if you want to do a mortgage, you have to arrange for the mortgage yourself, okay? That's just one of the things, that's just kind of how it's done here in Ghana, okay? So those are your three payment options, which is pretty standard for, for Ghana. Um, that's kind of how it works. Now, I must also make mention of the fact that this is a whole community. There, this is an estate of houses. So you do have access to a communal swimming pool outside as well. That's still being worked on at the moment, but um, a lot of the houses have already been developed. So it won't take too long for that to kind of pop up and it will be ready for you to go and chill out in the swimming pool, you know? So this community does have 24 hour security. So once you're in here, you're pretty much good to go. There's also an intercom system down stairs as well so once you, your guests arrive at the gate they can actually buzz and you can see them on the screen downstairs so you just answer the phone and you can see exactly who's there another thing to note as well is that this development consists of three four and five bedroom houses three bedroom houses start from one hundred and ninety thousand dollars well guys that is the end of the video um, but just before I leave if you guys have a property that you would love for me to tour 
do get in touch with me. Send me an email to naturalgarnagirl at gmail.com. Alternatively, if there's an area that you would like me to check some houses out for you, let me know as well in the comment section and I'll respond to your comment there. Um, this house, if you are interested in purchasing, you want to know more, again, send me an email to naturalgarnagirl at gmail.com and I'll respond to your email and put you in touch with the necessary people. All right. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, you should have by now, you can also just hit the subscribe button for me and the notification bell. Don't forget to also like, comment and share this video. Until next time, I am out and Lucy Farm.